Okay guys, so I guess I'm deciding to film my day today. I wasn't planning on it, but um, yeah, I decided I would because there's a lot of stuff going on. Just like before, I have a massive list of things to accomplish, but I know I won't get to them all, so I'm just gonna prioritize a few things and go from there. First thing is that I planted a whole bunch of plants, um, when was it? Yesterday. And so I'm making this video now. Should be done with it in, well, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. And then I've got another video from, um, I didn't, I don't even think I mentioned it, but I went to DC, um, for this, this meeting about forest therapy and integrating more nature-based um, activities into the health and wellness and medical um, industries. So that was really cool. But anyway, I'm gonna be making a video on it and so I just mapped it out. I usually, I don't do this very often, I've done it a few other times, but because of the style of video that I'm planning on making, I need to do that. I also have an astrology reading today. I've been wanting to get a reading for a while from the guy who runs the the class, but I just never um, had the time and I felt like all that I was learning was stuff that I could apply myself, but I'm really at a point where there is so much going on and it, I I guess I would just feel a little bit, I think I'm gonna feel really good after the reading. And so that is gonna happen in a few hours and I'm so, so excited, so excited. And then it's also the forest therapy, forest bathing challenge. And we are on day four of the forest bathing challenge and it's been going super well so far. Um, it's really awesome to see people actually do it, you know? It's like they're taking the initiative and since I set up the, the guidelines, so to speak, they're now going out into nature for the next 30 days, which is so cool, so cool. I also have 18 books coming, <laughs> unrelated topic. I really should stop talking because I mean it just keeps keep talking, keep introducing the day, which I'll never get to if I just keep keep on talking. So anyway, I read this book, um, interesting, but too scientific for me. There's a good amount of stuff I got from the end of the book that was more, more my type of interesting stuff. And then <laughs> a book about marketing. Um, I have another marketing book I'm I'm reading and then some other books that I'll be reading in the future. I just am feeling really inspired and I'd like to take this time um, to read more. And I do read a good amount as it is, but I just want to keep absorbing information, I guess. talking to you guys now but um I've got my astrology call in four minutes and I have to eat some food before then so I'm also thinking about um making a video on natural dyes and um using 
plants to dye your clothes, yarn, um, other material. And I'm just, I'm curious to see if you guys are interested in that at all. Um, my mom's been doing, has been dyeing with natural dyes for probably, I don't know, maybe 20 years or something. And growing up, I, I definitely did it, but I never paid close enough to attention to where I could uh, repeat everything myself and dye stuff. So I was thinking of making a video on that. So if you're interested, um, let me know in the comments. I have one minute before my call and I just have to show you this really quick. It's the forest therapy, uh, forest bathing challenge. I printed it off on a massive piece of paper. I got two of them and I'm going to laminate them and then, um, and then I'm gonna hang one and then I don't know, maybe I'll um, give one away. I'll put one up as a contest or something. I don't know, but it's so, so cool. I was just like blown away by this reading I was just given. That was incredible. That was up there with one of the best experiences of my life. I know a lot of you maybe don't resonate with astrology as a form of discovering more about yourself, but a birth chart isn't fact and what, what an astrologer or what you may might find within your chart is something that could happen. It's the potential, right? And so just really feeling validated within all aspects of my life is extremely helpful. From my grandfather to my traveling to um, this and all the other passions that I have, just knowing that I guess I left I left that meeting knowing that this was this is my path. This what I'm doing and um what I've sensed in me for for so long for, you know, for the past 4 years I've been discovering this um person, this whoever this is. And I, you know, I've come to some conclusions as to, to the things I want and how I feel I go about my life. How do I make decisions? How do I choose the paths that I do? And so it's just extremely validating hearing everything he had to say. And yeah, I'm just feeling excited about the future and what's going to happen and <sighs> incredible. So I am experimenting with this stuff um, which is just like writing um, I'm sure you, most of you guys have seen videos of this but like this but then it's it's sped up um, that's what I'm messing around with now um, to create a different video um, about the trip to Washington, D.C. and what may come of it, I guess. So, that's what I'm working on right now. <laughs> oh my god, every How many? single package, four. And none for me, Annabelle. 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 I just got um, some of my books that I ordered. Oh no, this says, oh my gosh, my mom's so dramatic. They're not all for me. One of them isn't for me. Okay. Ah! okay, ready? So I ordered, did I tell you I ordered 18 books? I might have t told you already, but they're all used. 
So I'm not buying new books because why would I buy new books when I can buy used books, right? We have uh, Carl Jung on nature, technology, and modern life. Uh, Rumi's Little Book of Life. These are all books that have been sitting in my um, cart for far too long. Um, Braiding Sweetgrass. There is a um, a forest therapy meetup of guides in Western New York, and um, this the author of this book is going to be speaking at this thing, and it'll be part of the meetup if I choose to go. It's about five hours away, um, but I might end up going. Uh, the archetypes and collective unconscious. The Medicine Wheel, Earth Astrology. Been interested in this for a little while. Um, so, give it a read. Uh, Stephen King on writing. I'm hoping to write a book um, in the future on a few different topics. I have books planned. And um, I was someone recommended this book. I forget who. And so... Um, I got it, because I think there's stuff in here that I would find useful. The Universe in You, Rumi. Another book of poems. That's all for there, so how many is that? Two, four, six, seven. Oh boy. This is awesome. So, what this is... I've been looking more into, you know, uh, like regeneration and regeneration as a lifestyle. And part of that is growing your own food and really connecting with the land around you. And so, um, someone, a family friend recommended The Spirit of the Land book. Um, it's about Shumi agriculture. I believe it's a Japanese style of agriculture that is completely plant-based. Um, let's see if this will focus. There we go. Um, completely plant-based, so there's no um, animals involved at all in the creation of the soil or um, whatever else you might use animal products for. Uh, um, so I'm super excited about this book because... Uh, I just feel like it's in line with um, what I'm what I'm beginning to um, come to to realize, I guess. What I'm experimenting with, what I'm exploring. So, yes. What do we have here? Ah, uh, we have Jane Goodall, Seeds of Hope. These types of books are not my typical thing I would read. Um, I'm, I'm more into, um, I guess, how we perform and uh, I don't even know how to put it into words, but this type of book is much more, um, much more scientific and based on um, fact than I might normally read. So this this feels like the first step in the direction of getting me to look at like say a plant book or something which I'm I'm not really into at all. All right. That's all I have for my books. That's all. This is all. I love reading, and I, I just, I'm really grateful that um, I've learned to value books, because I never used to, and it wasn't really until high school that I really began to read for the first time, and read just for fun. Now I have to finish the um, video, other video I was working on, and then go um, see my gramps and start dinner. So, peace. Woohoo!
It's the day later, and uh, wow, I've got a fever, and uh, funny because, or I guess maybe it's not funny, just an observation. Last time I had an astrology reading, it was with a former teacher of mine who studies astrology, and um, I got really sick after I had that reading, I remember. Um, and so I just, I don't know what is going on, but I have a fever and, uh, just tired. I'm gonna go do a few things and then, um, yeah. I find it very hard to rest. Super hard. Today I had, um, my niece and nephew and, and my grandpa from all three of them from like 8.30 until uh, 12.30 and I just like immediately got drained and then once the kiddos left I was just there with grandpa and I was just like totally out of it <laughs> anyway I have a really hard time just resting and not doing anything and even now I you know I was laying down for maybe an hour and all these things are running through my head, so I'm gonna go for a walk as part of the forest bathing challenge, and then we'll see. Hopefully, I'll be all better, and my fever will be gone, and I'll be full of energy. Hope you guys are having fun. best to document my life because I find benefit in doing it in the moment and I also find benefit looking back on it and then I also feel like if I can in some way benefit other people through sharing videos um, then why not do it One of the last videos I put out was on planting and how, you know, there are healing plants all around us. And it's funny because literally like two days after that, two days? No, it actually kind of started before I published it, but a day before it got published and a day before I actually filmed it. I don't I can't remember at this point. Um I came down with a fever and then my back, my hips, my legs, my neck were all hurting super badly. Give me a second. Sorry. I'll switch it around now. And I just couldn't function, like nothing was working. And so I, you know, tried to journal, I tried to watch videos, I tried to read, just like I couldn't do any of it. And so then um, my fever finally went down, but the, but the aching, didn't go away, and so I went to this doctor that um, we usually go to. He's a, more of a natural doctor, and um, he's, he has a degree, I guess, maybe, in Chinese medicine, and he's an acupuncturist and all that stuff. And so um, the concern is that, you know, I got Lyme, Lyme disease again. I'd had it twice before, and um, I really apologize for my 
inability to articulate anything right now. Um, what I was going to get through to, I was going to progressively go through the journey and get to the point where I'm talking about what's happening now, but, but I can't seem to get through it, so. I'm, I feel like my head is being attacked by something, um, all up through the back, and then over here, and then here, and in the front, my neck is so stiff, my eyes are tired, my back hurts a little bit, and my knees feel wobbly, but, oh my gosh, um, I'm also feeling super spacey, so that could have something to do with this stuff happening now, um, Anyway, I don't know where I left off. Basically, I have Lyme disease, and um, I can't really function. I can't do much of anything. Trying to get a little bit done on some of the bigger things that need that I still feel like I need to do, and I can push through. So the other two times I had Lyme disease, one was probably 10, maybe 12 years ago, and I got bit behind my ear, and um, it turned into Bell's palsy across my face, so only half of my, it was like this, right, half of my face wasn't working, um, which is kind of weird, because I almost wonder if, like, something <laughs> oh no I almost feel like that's happening again like oh no oh my god oh my goodness Okay, um, well clearly I just proved my point that I think it's happening again, but anyway, um, that's what I had the first time and I was pretty immediately put on antibiotics, and then the other time was probably a year ago, maybe a little more, and it was a flare up from the last Lyme disease because it never goes away, it's always in your system and so different things can trigger it. And so, I think it was just, like, aching and maybe a fever. I don't, I, you know, I really can't actually remember because it, it was more mild than the last, than the first time. Um, but this time, it's just been miserable. And my, this eye is hurting. Okay, well, I think that's all I want to film because I don't know what else to say. But I guess this should probably be, um, should probably be looked at. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know what you're going to see in the next few days, and I have a video from that forest therapy trip to D.C. to do, and um, just a whole bunch of other stuff that I would like to do but haven't, so...
Yes. Oh, and I think I started talking about was the planting video. <laughs> so my mom, <laughs> uh, my mom has been juicing. Um, when she had Lyme disease, um, she was told to walk barefoot in the yard, and I already do that, as well as juice dandelion greens. So she's been juicing dandelion greens for me, as well as um, nettle. And for those of you who haven't had either, <laughs> um, juiced or even cooked. I don't mind them cooked. They they taste fine with other stuff and maybe a little bit of a some type of seasoning. But eating something like that juiced is just not eating. I'm drinking it. It's so pungent and strong and I can't even tell you everything. It's just so, uh, so strong. Anyway, before I keep talking and before my head explodes, I better stop because it's just not feeling so good. Alright. See you next time.